systems. So next up is Kalic, another Goldman alum, and he's going to talk to you about TypeScript. Thank you. So I'm Tim Kovic, I'm currently at Goldman Sachs, and <clears throat> this is zero to TypeScript in 10 minutes, but zero is more like JavaScript, and it's not really all the TypeScript. Um, so before getting into TypeScript, I just want to talk a little bit about typing. So dynamically typed versus statically typed, so JavaScript is dynamically typed, so it's kind of like a recycling bin, you can just put anything you want anywhere and it'll accept it. Um, and you won't find out until the recycling guys go to filter through it, and you get a fine. Um, and statically typed is kind of like shoving this block through this circle. So, um, just a quick example. So dynamically typed. Um, here you can do index of this number, and you'll never know until you run it. Um, but with a statically typed uh, language being a string, and then it'll let you know in the editor or it compiled. Um, so introducing TypeScript. So TypeScript uh, solves a lot of problems. It's a, a superscript of uh, JavaScript. So it pretty much is just all, you can use JavaScript, but it just adds a lot of features on top of it, like static typing, uh, which is optional. Um, it compiles the plain JavaScript, so you could use it in the browser or the server. Um, and it was created by Microsoft and released in 2012. Um, and used by some pretty large companies like Microsoft, Google, and Goldman Sachs, which is where I use it. Um, some of the benefits are uh, type errors at compile time, uh, it's self-documenting, and you get some pretty awesome IDE code completion. Uh, getting into some of the basics, so to use TypeScript compared to ES6, all you're really doing is adding a colon and the type. Um, and some basic types are uh, string, number, boolean is your basics. Um, and then you could have arrays, it is an array of a string. Um, and the, the awesome part is now if I try to map on this um, this boolean, it gives me this little thing in my VS code. It tells me I can't do it. Um, another awesome feature is code completion. So if you're working with functions, you just type the function name and it pops up and you know exactly which parameters and their types and the return type. So that's an amazing feature. Um, <clears throat> so those are the basic types, but if you want to type something like an object, um, you could use an interface. So here we have a person uh, with a name and an age. So with an interface, it's really just uh, an object of types, and we just implement it like a normal type in, on an object. Um, and if you want to get into some more complex objects, you can nest type. So here we have the main type, which is iData, which is uh, pages and an array of the iPages interface type, which is the title URL and tags. So, um, and there's also enums, which kind of seem weird. Um, maybe like you might not know when use them, but in a uh, React application, you might have a button and you need to type out small, medium, large, and that's really the best use for that. So, um, so TypeScript and React. One awesome benefit is that so we have prop types for React, which is cool, and it lets us say you know something's required and what different types they accept. But with TypeScript, you can just use an interface, and now you get pretty much the same thing except for it's strongly typed. And if you try to instantiate this component. Um, and try to pass in something that isn't text to string or something to size that's not small, medium, or large, uh, you'll get an error in your, at compile time or in your editor. So. Um, this is just a quick slide on Redux co connected components. Uh, I'm not going to get too in depth here, but um, basically the idea, it's kind of weird because there's generics like connect, uh, which you have to pass in the, the state, the dispatch from props, and the props of the actual. Uh, component that you're connecting. Um, so yeah, the TypeScript is great if you have a large uh, team or code base. So I'm at Goldman Sachs, we have about 120 engineers working on one code base. So you can imagine it gets pretty uh, crazy. And anyone could put any change at any time and completely mess everything up. So uh, TypeScript definitely saved us uh, a bunch of times. Um, 
teams or engineers accustomed to uh, stuff with type languages like Java. Uh, I feel like it might make a, a good transition for them if they want to get into JavaScript, uh, but want the typing. Um, yeah. um, and I, I really love this chart because as you can see, uh, <laughs> CoffeeScript, um, it's pretty much the exact opposite of TypeScript. So CoffeeScript goes down and TypeScript goes up, um, which is really cool because type, CoffeeScript is kind of like a whole another language that transpiles the JavaScript. Uh, but TypeScript is you know, a, sub, a superset, so really you can just use JavaScript and TypeScript. Um, and this is another cool chart which shows uh, the growth amongst a couple other newer languages. Um, and it's kind of just skyrocketing. So um, if you would like to get started, I highly recommend the Quick Start um, and also the Interactive Playground, which allows you to, it has some examples from a drop down. Um, but you can also type in any TypeScript and it will compile on the right-hand side into JavaScript, check it out. And that's it.